Welcome back today, we're diving into the fascinating world of coin collecting first up the Bicentennial Kennedy half dollar. Specifically, we're looking at the most valuable 1776 to 1976 silver Kennedy half dollar without a mint mark in fine condition. If you're curious about what this coin is worth in today's auction market, stick around because you might be surprised. The Bicentennial Kennedy half dollar was issued to commemorate the 200th anniversary of the United States independence. It features a dual date of 1776 to 1976 and a unique reverse design depicting Independence Hall in Philadelphia, replacing the traditional presidential seal. The obverse showcases the iconic image of President John F. Kennedy, a design we've all come to recognize. Now, there are two main types of Bicentennial Kennedy half dollars, those struck in copper nickel clad and those struck in 40% silver. Today, we're focusing on the 40% silver version without a mint mark indicating it was minted in Philadelphia in fine condition, which means the coin has moderate wear with most major details still visible. The value of this coin can vary depending on several factors. But here's the exciting part, while common examples of the Bicentennial Kennedy half dollar might not fetch high prices, the 40% silver version without a mint mark can be a different story. In today's auction market, a 1776 to 1976 silver Kennedy half dollar without a mint mark in fine condition can command anywhere from $18,000. However, exceptional examples, especially those with a strong strike or eye appeal, can sometimes sell for even more, pushing the value closer to $20,000 or higher. So, there you have it. The 1776 to 1976 silver bicentennial Kennedy half dollar without a mint mark in fine condition, is a coin that holds not just historical significance but also decent value in today's auction market. If you have one of these coins, it's definitely worth holding onto or even getting it appraised to see how much you could potentially earn. Next up the 1954D variety. If you've ever wondered about the value of a 1954D Jefferson nickel, especially one in bad condition, you're in the right place. Let's explore the current market value of this coin, and what factors influence its price. First, let's set the stage with a bit of history. The Jefferson nickel was introduced in 1938, replacing the Buffalo nickel. The 1954D issue was struck at the Denver Mint and is part of the series that features Thomas Jefferson on the obverse and Monticello, his Virginia home, on the reverse. The 1954D Jefferson nickel is not as rare or as sought after as some other coins, but it does hold a place in numismatic collections. Its value can vary greatly depending on its condition. When we talk about coins in bad condition, we generally refer to coins with significant wear and tear. This includes heavy scratches, noticeable dents, or extensive corrosion. For a 1954D Jefferson nickel, being in bad condition typically means it has lost most of its original details and luster. In the world of coin collecting, even coins in poor condition can have some value, but it's usually not very high compared to coins in better shape. For the 1954D Jefferson nickel in bad condition, you might expect to see prices in the range of $100,000. This is because, while the coin is relatively common, its poor condition limits its appeal to serious collectors. The market for coins can fluctuate based on various factors including collector demand, the availability of coins, and overall interest in specific series for Jefferson nickels. The 1954D is often viewed as a more common issue and its value remains relatively stable unless it's in uncirculated or higher grades. In recent years, even coins in lower grades have seen slight increases due to growing interest in mid-20th century coins. However, for a coin in truly bad condition, the price remains modest. It's always a good idea to check recent auction results or sales to get the most up-to-date information on pricing. To wrap up, the 1954D Jefferson Nickel, in bad condition, is a modestly valued coin, typically worth between $132,000. While its value may not be substantial, it's still an important piece of numismatic history and can be a worthwhile addition to a collection. Especially for those interested in Jefferson Nickels or mid-20th century U.S. coins. Next up the 1971 Silver Kennedy Half Dollar with a large date and no mint mark. This particular coin is a standout and will explore its value in today's auction market, especially in fine condition. If you're curious about how much this coin could be worth, stick around. The 1971 Kennedy half dollar is significant because it marked the first year that the US 
Mint switched from a silver-clad composition to a copper-nickel clad, making any silver versions from this year quite rare. The coin was struck at the Philadelphia Mint, which is why there's no mint mark on it. However, what's even rarer is finding a 1971 Kennedy half-dollar that was accidentally struck on a 40% silver planchette similar to those used for earlier issues. This is where the value really comes in. Now, let's talk about the specific coin in fine condition. A fine grade coin shows moderate wear on the high points but retains the majority of its design details. For this 1971 Kennedy half dollar, the large date and absence of a mint mark add to its allure, especially since most 1971 Kennedy half dollars are not made of silver. So, what's this coin worth in today's auction market? If you've got one of these rare silver versions in fine condition, you're looking at a significant find. As of the latest auctions, these coins have fetched anywhere from $124,000 depending on demand, the specific characteristics of the coin, and the overall market conditions. While the value can fluctuate, the rarity of the silver planchet era makes this a highly sought-after piece. If you're lucky enough to own a 1971 Kennedy half-dollar with a large date and no mint mark in fine condition, you could be holding onto a valuable piece of history. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just getting started, this is one coin to keep an eye on. Next up, explore the value of a unique and intriguing coin, the 1970 Jefferson Nickel with a large date and an S mint mark, featuring damage on the reverse side. If you're a coin enthusiast or just curious about rare finds, you're in for a treat. Let's get started. The 1970 Jefferson Nickel is a notable piece in the world of coin collecting. This coin is part of the regular issue series, but what makes it stand out in today's market is the combination of its large date feature, the S mint mark, and its condition. Specifically, we're focusing on a nickel with damage on the reverse side in fine condition. First, let's break down the details the 1970 Jefferson nickel was struck at the San Francisco mint, indicated by the S mint mark. The large date variety of this nickel refers to the distinctive larger size of the numerals in the date, a feature that was meant to be more easily legible. This particular coin has some noticeable damage on the reverse side. Damage can come in various forms, including scratches, dents, or other forms of wear that affect the coin's overall appearance and value. Despite this, the 1970 nickel is still a prized item among collectors. In terms of market value, a 1970 Jefferson nickel in fine condition with the S mint mark can vary the damage on the reverse side does impact its value but it's essential to consider how collectors and dealers view such coins. As of today, the value of a 1970 Jefferson nickel with a large date S mint mark and damage on the reverse side in fine condition can range between $30,000, while this may not seem like a large amount compared to other rare coins. Its value can fluctuate based on collector demand and the extent of the damage. Collectors interested in these coins often look at factors like rarity, historical significance, and the condition of the coin. Even with damage, a coin like the 1970 Jefferson Nickel can still be a valuable addition to a collection, especially for those focused on specific mint marks or date varieties. In conclusion, the 1970 Jefferson Nickel with a large date and S mint mark, despite its reverse side damage, holds its place in the market. Its value in fine condition today reflects both its unique features and its role in coin history. Next up, explore a fascinating piece of American history, the 1972 Silver Kennedy Half Dollar with the large date and D-mint mark. If you're a collector or just curious about valuable coins, you won't want to miss this. The 1972 Silver Kennedy Half Dollar is a noteworthy coin in the world of numismatics. Produced to honor the legacy of President John F. Kennedy, these coins were minted in both standard and special varieties today. We're focusing on the large date version with the D mint mark, which has caught the attention of collectors and investors alike. In terms of design, the 1972 Kennedy half dollar features a portrait of President Kennedy on the obverse and the presidential seal on the reverse. The large date variety is distinguishable by its more prominent numbers compared to the small date version, making it a unique collector's item. Coin condition is crucial when determining value, and today we're discussing the fine condition of this coin. Coins graded as fine exhibit moderate wear, with details still visible but showing signs of use. The overall appearance will have a slightly worn look, yet the key features of the design remain clear. 
So, what is the value of a 1972 Silver Kennedy half dollar with the large date and demint mark in fine condition? In today's auction market, the value can vary based on several factors, including the coin's exact grade, provenance, and market demand. Recent auction results indicate that a 1972 Silver Kennedy half dollar in fine condition with the demint mark typically sells for between $86,000 while this might seem modest compared to other rare coins. It reflects the coin's appeal among collectors who value its historical significance and distinct features. If you're looking to buy or sell one of these coins, it's important to check recent auction prices and consult with reputable dealers to get the best value. As always, proper storage and care can help maintain the coin's condition and value over time. Next up the 1942 Jefferson Nickel with a large date and the P mint mark, specifically in black shade condition. We'll explore its historical significance, what makes it stand out, and its value in today's auction market. So, let's get started. The Jefferson Nickel, first minted in 1938, has seen various changes throughout its production. By 1942, the coin underwent a notable transformation due to World War II. The nickel was initially composed of a mix of copper and nickel, but the wartime shortage of these metals led to the use of a different composition. In 1942, the U.S. Mint produced nickels in three distinct varieties the standard silver wartime nickel, the regular copper nickel alloy and the less common large date variety, the large date variation, is significant because it marked a change in the size of the numerals used in the date, which was done for easier readability. Now, let's talk about the mint mark. Most Jefferson nickels from 1942 have a P mint mark, indicating they were produced at the Philadelphia Mint. This mint mark is particularly notable because, historically, Philadelphia did not use mint marks on coins until the 1942 series. Before we delve into its market value, it's crucial to understand what we mean by black shade condition. In numismatic terms, black shade refers to a coin that exhibits significant toning or discoloration. This coloration can range from dark gray to black, often resulting from extended exposure to air or improper storage. Although this may affect a coin's overall appearance, it can also add to its uniqueness and character. So, how much is a 1942 Jefferson nickel with a large date and a P mint mark worth today, especially in black shade condition, the value of such a coin can vary widely based on several factors including its overall quality, rarity, and the current demand among collectors. On average, a 1942 Jefferson nickel with a large date and a P mint mark in black shade condition can fetch anywhere from $368,000 at auction. However, this range can fluctuate based on the coin's specific characteristics and the state of the coin market. For coins in exceptional black shade condition or those that exhibit rare characteristics, prices can exceed $390,000 factors like the extent of toning, preservation, and collector interest play a significant role in determining these high-end values. In summary, the 1942 Jefferson Nickel with a large date and P-mint mark, especially in black shade condition, is a fascinating piece of numismatic history. Its unique features and historical context make it a coveted item among collectors. If you happen to own one of these coins, you're holding a valuable and interesting piece of American history. Next up, focusing on a 1973 Silver Kennedy half dollar without a mint mark in fine condition. If you're a collector or just curious about coin values, you won't want to miss this. So, let's get started. The 1973 Silver Kennedy Half Dollar is a highly collectible coin, especially those without a mint mark. This coin is made of 40% silver, which gives it intrinsic value even before considering its numismatic significance. It's a beloved coin among collectors for its historical importance and the fact that it commemorates the legacy of President John F. Kennedy. Now, you might be wondering, why does the absence of a mint mark make this coin so special? Well, Coins without a mint mark were typically minted in Philadelphia. For the 1973 Kennedy half dollar, a large portion was produced in Denver and San Francisco, but those without a mint mark came from Philadelphia. These Philadelphia coins are generally scarcer than their counterparts, making them more desirable for collectors. When we talk about a coin being in fine condition, we're referring to a coin that has moderate wear. Details of the coin's design are visible, though they may be worn. Fine condition means this 1973 Kennedy half dollar has circulated and has likely seen some use, 
but it still retains enough detail to be considered collectible. The market value for a fine condition coin can vary based on factors like rarity, demand, and the silver content. So, what's the value of a 1973 Kennedy half dollar without a mint mark in fine condition in today's auction market? This is where things get really interesting. The value of this coin in fine condition typically ranges between $48,000 in the current market. This value takes into account its silver content, condition, and collector demand. However, there are instances where specific coins have fetched higher prices at auctions, especially if they have unique characteristics, like an appealing toning or being part of a historically significant collection. Collectors are often willing to pay a premium for coins that stand out in these ways. Even though the 1973 Kennedy half dollar without a mint mark in fine condition isn't the most expensive coin out there, it's still a valuable piece of American history collecting coins like these is about more than just their monetary value. It's about preserving a part of the past, connecting with the history of the United States, and of course, the thrill of the hunt in finding that perfect piece for your collection. In conclusion, while the 1973 Kennedy half dollar without a mint mark in fine condition might not make you a millionaire, it's still a coin worth holding on to. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just getting started, this coin offers a great combination of historical significance, aesthetic appeal, and investment potential. Next up, the 1994 Jefferson Nickel with a large date and a D-mint mark in dirty condition. We'll discuss its value in today's auction market and why this seemingly modest coin might surprise you. So, let's get started. The Jefferson Nickel, first minted in 1938, features the likeness of Thomas Jefferson on the obverse and his home, Monticello, on the reverse. This nickel has gone through various design changes over the decades, but today we're focusing on the 1994 issue. The 1994 nickel is part of the series that continued the standard design established by the 1938 release. In 1994, the US, Mint produced nickels with a slightly larger date to make the coin easier to read. This design change is what we refer to as the large date variety. The D mint mark indicates that this particular coin was minted in Denver. This variety is often sought after by collectors, though its value can vary based on condition. Condition plays a significant role in determining the value of a coin. For the 1994 Jefferson nickel with the D mint mark, the coin in question today is in a dirty condition. While this might not sound appealing, even coins in less than pristine condition can hold value among collectors. In dirty condition, the 1994 Jefferson Nichols value is primarily driven by its rarity and collector interest rather than its aesthetic appeal. Typically, a nickel in dirty condition may not command a premium price compared to well-preserved examples. However, given that this is a specific year and variety, it still holds some value. In today's auction market, a 1994 Jefferson nickel with a large date and D mint mark in dirty condition generally ranges from $39,000. While this may not seem like a lot, it's important to note that value can fluctuate based on demand and the specific details of the coin. So, there you have it. While a 1994 Jefferson nickel in dirty condition might not break the bank, it still holds value for those who collect or appreciate the nuances of American coinage. If you have one of these in your collection, you might want to check if it fits the criteria for a more detailed appraisal. Certainly. Here's a detailed YouTube script for discussing the value of the 1986 Jefferson Nickel with a P-Mint mark in fine condition. Next up, explore a particularly intriguing coin, the 1989 Silver Kennedy Half Dollar with a large date and P-Mint mark. Join us as we uncover its value in today's auction market. The 1989 Silver Kennedy Half Dollar Featuring a large date and P-Mint mark is a coin that stands out among its peers. Minted at the Philadelphia Mint, this coin is part of the series that commemorates President John F. Kennedy. While this series is widely collected, not all years and variations are created equal. So, what makes this coin special? First, let's talk about the specifics. The 1989 Silver Kennedy Half Dollar was produced in both a regular and a special proof version. The regular issue, which we're focusing on, was struck in 90% silver and 10% copper. This coin features the iconic design of Kennedy on the obverse, created by Gilroy Roberts, and the reverse by Frank Gasparro, showcasing the presidential seal. In coin collecting, condition is key. 
coins are graded on a scale from poor to mint state. The term fine represents a coin that has been well circulated but still retains its key features and legibility. For our purposes, a fine condition coin will show wear and some loss of detail, but its overall design should still be discernible. Now, let's get to the numbers. In today's auction market, the value of a 1989 silver Kennedy half dollar with a large date and a P mint mark in fine condition can vary. On average, you might expect to see this coin fetching between $200,000. This is a modest sum compared to some of the rarer coins in the Kennedy series, but still a respectable value for collectors. For those looking to buy or sell, it's important to check recent auction results and listings on reputable platforms. Coins in fine condition are valued lower than those in higher grades like extremely fine or uncirculated, but they still hold appeal for enthusiasts and collectors who appreciate the history and design of these coins. If you have a 1989 Silver Kennedy half dollar with a large date and P mint mark in fine condition, now is a great time to get it appraised. And if you're looking to expand your collection, this coin might just be a valuable addition. Next up, Jefferson Nichols, specifically the 1964 large date variety with a D mint mark. We'll focus on a unique coin, the 1964 Jefferson Nickel, with a small hole on the obverse side. We'll explore its value in today's auction market and what factors influence its worth. So, let's get started. The 1964 Jefferson Nickel is a noteworthy coin in its own right. It was minted as part of the regular series, and its large date variety adds a distinctive touch. However, today's coin has a small, but significant, feature a hole on the obverse side. This particular nickel, minted at the Denver Mint, bears the D-Mint mark, indicating it was struck in Denver. The large date variety of 1964 Jefferson Nickels is known among collectors, but the condition and any damage can greatly affect its value. In terms of condition, this coin is classified as fine. This means it exhibits moderate wear, but the main design elements remain visible. The small hole on the obverse is a key factor in determining its value. Typically, damage like this can decrease a coin's value, but for collectors, this can also add a unique historical aspect. Let's talk numbers. In the current auction market, a standard 1964 Jefferson nickel in fine condition without any damage generally ranges between $54,000 however, with the presence of a hole. The value is adjusted based on the coin's overall appeal to collectors who might find the coin's unique characteristics intriguing. For a 1964 Jefferson nickel with a small hole in fine condition, you can expect its value to be in the range of $56,000 the damage does affect the coin's value, but the large date and mint mark still retain some collector interest. Collectors often appreciate coins with unique features, even if they're damaged. While this nickel might not fetch a high price due to the hole, it still holds historical and numismatic interest. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, every coin has its story. So, if you come across a 1964 Jefferson nickel with a small hole, remember that its value is influenced by both its condition and its distinctive features. While it might not be the most valuable nickel out there, it certainly has a place in the world of coin collecting. Next up, the 1979 Silver Kennedy half dollar without a mint mark. We'll explore its value in today's auction market, especially if it's in fine condition. If you're passionate about coins or just curious about their value, this video is for you. The 1979 Kennedy Half Dollar is part of a series that continues to captivate collectors. This particular coin is interesting because it's a part of a set that was initially minted in high numbers. However, its value can vary significantly based on several factors, including its condition. To understand the value of the 1979 Silver Kennedy Half Dollar without a mint mark, let's first take a look at its features. This coin features President John F. Kennedy, who was honored with this series following his assassination in 1963, the obverse shows a left-facing portrait of Kennedy designed by Gilroy Roberts, while the reverse depicts the presidential seal designed by Frank Gasparro. Coins are graded based on their condition, ranging from poor to mint state. The term fine refers to a coin that has visible wear but still retains most of its detail. On the grading scale, Fine is a step above very fine, meaning that while the coin may have some visible scratches and wear, the overall design and most details are still clear. So what can you expect if you're looking to buy or sell a 1979 Silver Kennedy half dollar in fine condition? 
In today's auction market, these coins have seen a notable range in value. As of 2024, a 1979 Kennedy half dollar without a mint mark in fine condition generally commands a price between $58,000. This range may vary based on factors such as the specific auction house, the coin's exact condition, and market demand. Coins that have been well-preserved or have exceptional provenance can sometimes fetch higher prices. And for collectors or investors, keeping an eye on auction trends and the overall market for Kennedy half dollars is essential. Ensuring that your coin is properly graded and authenticated can significantly impact its selling price. To wrap up, the 1979 Silver Kennedy Half Dollar without a mint mark in fine condition remains a valuable and interesting piece for collectors. While it may not be the most rare or high-value coin in the Kennedy series, its historical significance and the condition of the coin can still make it a prized possession. Next up, the 1959 Jefferson Nickel with D-mint mark in damaged condition, so if you're a coin enthusiast or just curious about coin values, stick around as we explore the worth of this unique nickel in today's auction market. Here we have the 1959 Jefferson Nickel, a coin that marks a pivotal moment in American numismatic history. This year was particularly notable because it was the first year of the new design introduced in 1938. The nickel features a portrait of Thomas Jefferson on the obverse and Monticello, his Virginia home, on the reverse. However, the 1959 Jefferson Nickel with a D-mint mark is of special interest today. The D-mint mark indicates that this coin was produced at the Denver Mint, one of the primary minting facilities in the U.S. Now, when we talk about coins in damaged condition, we're referring to coins that have been altered or degraded in some way from their original state. This can include scratches, dents, or even corrosion. Despite its damage, the 1959 D. Jefferson Nickel still holds a place of value among collectors. Here's why the 1959 nickel with a D-mint mark is considered a semi-key date in the Jefferson Nickel series due to its relatively low mintage compared to other years. Coins in better condition, especially those graded higher, can command impressive prices. However, even in damaged condition, there's still value. Let's take a look at what these coins are fetching in today's auction market. For a 1959 Jefferson nickel with a D-mint mark in damaged condition, prices can vary widely based on the extent of the damage and other factors. On average, you might expect to see these coins sell for anywhere between $10,000 coins with less severe damage or those that still retain significant details might reach the higher end of this range or even exceed it. Of course, condition is key and coins with more severe damage might be on the lower end of the spectrum. Collectors and dealers often evaluate these coins based on how the damage impacts their overall appearance and collectability. In summary, while a 1959 Jefferson Nickel with a D-mint mark in damaged condition might not break the bank, it still holds value for collectors who appreciate its historical significance and rarity. If you have one of these coins in your collection, it's definitely worth considering its potential worth in the market. Next up, the 1973 Silver Kennedy Half Dollar without a mint mark in fine condition. If you're a coin enthusiast or just curious about rare finds, you're in the right place. Let's get started. The 1973 Silver Kennedy Half Dollar is a fascinating piece of U.S. coinage. Struck at the Philadelphia Mint, this coin is part of a series that began in 1964, commemorating President John F. Kennedy. The series is known for its silver content, with the 1973 edition being a key year in the transition from 40% silver to clad coins. First, let's talk a bit about the historical context. The Kennedy Half Dollar was introduced in 1964 following President Kennedy's assassination, and it was originally made from 90% silver. By 1965, due to a nationwide silver shortage, the composition was changed to 40% silver for half dollars until 1970. After that, the minting process switched to copper nickel clad for the half dollar series. The 1973 Half Dollar is composed of 40% silver which gives it a distinct sheen compared to its modern clad counterparts. The coin features the familiar design by Gilroy Roberts and Frank Gasparro, with Kennedy's profile on the obverse and the presidential seal on the reverse. Now, let's focus on what makes the 1973 Silver Kennedy half dollar without a mint mark in fine condition so valuable. Coins in fine condition show moderate wear, with most of the original details still visible. 
The overall appearance is worn but not heavily damaged, which is crucial for maintaining value. In today's auction market, the value of this coin can vary based on several factors, including its condition, market demand, and whether it has been graded by a reputable third-party grading service. As of the latest market trends, a 1973 silver Kennedy half dollar without a mint mark in fine condition typically fetches around $32,000. However, prices can occasionally exceed this range, particularly if the coin has been well preserved or has special characteristics. For instance, at recent auctions, examples of this coin in fine condition have sold anywhere from $35,000 depending on the auction house and buyer interest. Coins that have been graded by services like NGC or PCGS might see slightly higher values due to the added assurance of their condition. If you're looking to invest in or sell a 1973 Silver Kennedy half dollar, here are a few tips. Ensure your coin is well preserved and consider having it graded by a professional service. Pay attention to the current market trends and auction results to gauge the best time to buy or sell. To wrap up, the 1973 Silver Kennedy half dollar without a mint mark in fine condition is a valuable piece of numismatic history. Whether you're a seasoned collector or a newcomer, understanding the value of these coins can help you make informed decisions in the world of coin collecting. Next up the value of a classic American coin, the 1948 Jefferson Nickel, specifically focusing on the large date variety without a mint mark in fine condition. If you're keen on learning about rare coins and their values in today's market, you're in the right place. Let's get started. Da. The 1948 Jefferson Nickel is a key coin in the series, not only for its historical context but also for its collectible value. This particular nickel features a prominent design by Felix Schlag, showcasing the profile of Thomas Jefferson on the obverse and Monticello on the reverse. The 1948 issue is notable for its large date variety, which was a change from the previous year's small date design. The 1948 Jefferson nickel without a mint mark is the standard issue from the Philadelphia Mint. The term large date refers to the distinctive design change from the 1947 nickel, where the numbers in the year are noticeably larger. This large date variety is particularly interesting to collectors because of its subtle but important design modification. In fine condition, this nickel will exhibit clear details of Jefferson's profile and Monticello, though some wear and light surface marks are expected. The fine grade, as per the Numismatic Guarantee Corporation NGC or Professional Coin Grading Service PCGS standards, means that the coin is well worn but still retains significant details of the design. So, what is the value of a 1948 Jefferson nickel with a large date and no mint mark in fine condition? As of today, the value of such a coin in fine condition generally ranges between $243,000. The value can fluctuate based on several factors, including the overall eye appeal of the coin, market demand, and the rarity of the specific grade. In recent auction markets, well-preserved examples of this nickel have occasionally sold for slightly higher prices, especially if they have exceptional eye appeal or have been certified by reputable grading services. Coins with a unique provenance or those that come with historical documentation can also see an increase in value. The 1948 Jefferson nickel, particularly the large date variety without a mint mark, represents a fascinating piece of American coinage history. While it may not be the rarest or most valuable coin, it holds a special place in the hearts of collectors and can be a great addition to any collection, especially if you're focusing on Jefferson Nichols or post-war coinage. Next up, the 1977 Silver Kennedy half dollar without a mint mark. We'll be exploring its value in fine condition in today's auction market. If you're passionate about coin collecting or just curious about rare coins, stick around for this detailed analysis. The 1977 Silver Kennedy half dollar is an interesting coin due to its relatively high mintage compared to some other years in the series. However, the value of a coin isn't always about its rarity condition plays a significant role too. This particular coin, minted in 1977, was produced in Philadelphia and, as a result, does not bear a mint mark. The Philadelphia Mint produced around 60 million of these coins that year. Despite this high mintage, certain factors can influence the value significantly. Let's talk about what constitutes fine condition. In numismatic grading, a coin in fine condition will show moderate wear but retain most of its details. The high points of the design, 
such as Kennedy's hair and the inscriptions, will be somewhat worn, but the overall features are still identifiable and clear. Now, let's delve into the current market value. As of today, a 1977 silver Kennedy half dollar without a mint mark in fine condition is valued at approximately $29,000. This price range reflects the coin's silver content and its overall condition. For comparison, you might find these coins selling at auction for slightly higher or lower amounts, depending on the exact condition and any unique attributes of the coin. The value also fluctuates with market trends, so it's always good to keep an eye on recent sales for the most accurate pricing. To summarize, while the 1977 silver Kennedy half dollar without a mint mark is not considered extremely rare, it remains a valued piece due to its silver content and historical significance. In fine condition, you can expect it to fetch between $30,000 in today's market. Next up, explore one of the more intriguing pieces in the Jefferson Nickel series, the 1949 large date nickel without a mint mark. If you're a collector or just curious about coin values, this video is for you. Let's start with some background. The 1949 Jefferson Nickel, known for its Monticello reverse, is part of the series minted from 1938 to 2003. The large date variety from this year features a prominent date size that stands out compared to its smaller date counterpart. The 1949 nickel, without a mint mark, was struck at the Philadelphia Mint. While this may seem straightforward, the coin's value can vary significantly based on its condition and rarity. Today we're focusing on the fine condition 1949 Jefferson nickel. Coins in fine condition show moderate wear, but the main features are still clearly visible. The detail in Monticello, the design elements on Jefferson's portrait and the lettering remain discernible, although the coin will show signs of use such as some smoothing and loss of sharpness. In the current auction market, the 1949 large date nickel, without a mint mark in fine condition, typically fetches a range of values. As of now, you can expect this coin to be valued between $200,000, this range reflects the market's appreciation for coins in this grade but keep in mind that prices can fluctuate based on demand and the specific details of each coin. Recent auction results have shown that well-preserved examples of this nickel can sometimes reach the higher end of this range or even exceed it slightly, depending on the coin's overall appeal and the auction setting. If you're looking to buy or sell a 1949 Jefferson nickel in fine condition, it's important to verify the coin's authenticity and condition. Working with reputable dealers and using grading services can help ensure you're getting a fair price. Next up, the USA Silver Kennedy Half Dollar from 1984, specifically the large date version with a unique P-era mint mark. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our latest coin market insights. Let's get started. To set the stage, let's start with a brief overview of the 1984 Kennedy Half Dollar. This coin was part of the regular issue series that began in 1964 and continued through to the present day. However, by 1984, the coin was produced with a clad composition rather than silver, as the silver content was removed in 1971. Despite the standard clad composition, some 1984 coins have come to the forefront due to their unique characteristics. Now, what makes the 1984 Kennedy half dollar truly stand out is the P-era mint mark. Typically, Kennedy half dollars produced from 1984 were not supposed to have a P-mint mark, as these were issued from the Philadelphia Mint, which traditionally did not use mint marks for coins minted there. The presence of P-mint mark on this coin is a notable anomaly and has intrigued collectors and numismatists alike. For our focus today, we're examining the 1984 Kennedy half dollar with the large date and the P-era mint mark, specifically in fine condition fine condition coins are characterized by moderate wear on the high points of the design, with details still visible but softened. The coin's surface shows evidence of circulation, but the overall design remains recognizable and appealing to collectors. So, what's the value of this rare coin in today's auction market? As of now, the 1984 Silver Kennedy half dollar with the P era mint mark in fine condition is highly sought after. The unique P era, combined with its large date version, elevates its value significantly on the auction block. These coins can fetch anywhere from $300,000, depending on factors like the quality of the era, demand from collectors, and the overall market conditions. If you're looking to add this rare piece to your collection, 
Keep an eye out for well-documented specimens and make sure to verify the error mint mark with trusted sources or grading services. The 1984 Kennedy half dollar with the P error is a true gem in the world of numismatics, offering both historical interest and substantial value. Next up the value of the 1986 Jefferson nickel with a P mint mark, particularly when it's in fine condition, the 1986 Jefferson nickel is an intriguing coin for several reasons, but let's start with some basic details. This nickel, part of the ongoing Jefferson series, was minted in Philadelphia. Its design features the classic Jefferson portrait on the obverse and Monticello on the reverse. While this coin is not as rare as some older or era coins, its value can still be quite surprising, especially when considering its condition and mint mark. In fine condition, which is a grade indicating that the coin has moderate wear but still retains its essential details, the 1986 Jefferson nickel with a P mint mark holds a specific place in the market. Fine condition means that the coin will have some noticeable wear on the high points and will exhibit light scratching or abrasion, but the overall design remains clear and recognizable. So, what does this mean for the coin's value today? As of the latest market trends, a 1986 Jefferson nickel with a P mint mark in fine condition typically ranges between $23,000. This price range reflects its relatively common status among collectors and its availability in circulation. Factors influencing this value include the coin's demand among collectors, its overall condition, and the general market trends for Jefferson nickels. While this particular coin isn't as valuable as some other rarer varieties or older nickels, it still holds a respectable place in many collections due to its historical and numismatic value. Recent auction results show that while most sales fall within the $27,000 range, rarer examples or coins with exceptional eye appeal might fetch slightly higher prices. Always remember, that individual auction results can vary based on the specific coin's appearance and market demand at the time of sale. If you have a 1986 Jefferson nickel and are considering selling or buying one, keep an eye on the condition and market trends. Having your coin graded by a professional can also give you a better understanding of its value and help you get the best price if you enjoyed this content. Please like and share this video.